Hello everyone, and welcome back to Game Break, an Inspire the Muse presentation where we explore the plot behind some amazing video games. Will here, returning yet again to Bioshock Infinite, as we continue Booker's adventure to find the little girl Elizabeth, who is locked away on Monument Island. When we last left off, Booker was making his way through the building for the Order of the Raven, a rather white supremacist group that are big fans of John Wilkes Booth. Now we resume continuing exploring this dangerous and dilapidated building. not quite, quite how I remember that going down. As I remember it, they tried to kill Booker, and Booker defended himself, but I'm not surprised that they spun the tail. Oh, is this an elevator? Good. I love elevators. This place is super creepy. What are they even projecting? This place is kind of dark and spoopy. And all the birds flying around don't really help. Not in the least. Sweet mother of Columbia, why do we worship three symbols in your memory? We worship the sword so that we might avenge you. We worship the raven so that we might cover the city with eyes. We worship the coffin because it symbolizes the weight of our faith. Alrighty then, that's pretty actually dark and heavy stuff. I don't have much to say to that other than it's pretty dark and heavy. These guys are basically the so-called secret defenders of the city, as far as I can tell, and are incredibly zealotous. You see that stream of light back there? Oh. This doesn't look promising. Secret hidden holding cells. Oh. Uh. Ooh, more gear. What's this? Headmaster increased critical hit damage by 50%. I forget what I had. What was the other thing I had? Ghost Soldier. Killing with a Vigor Trap has a chance to cause the enemy gun to become a ghostly ally. Uh, yeah, I think I'd rather the new gear. Better headshots. Granted, I can change it at any time, but we'll go with better headshots for now. How do you do this? 
I just want to go back to my family. Someone's in trouble. Oh! Oh! That poor guy. Where'd you go, Crow? We're singers! this some new kind of vigor well that went easy that's a hell of a thing huh. I like the bottles did I say that already I'm saying it again uh oh I got that ability now. Let's see how it works. It's a little pricey on the salt side, but it seems to work pretty well. Oh, I can't shut it off like I could in Bioshock 1 and 2. We got that crow guy dealt with. Ooh. And he needed to be dealt with because, damn, he was horribly torturing these people. Oh. Well, you look like you've seen better days. What's this? Burning Halo. Chance that a melee target is set ablaze, 300 damage over 4 seconds. This will replace my electric shock, I think, so while I will take the gear, I'm not going to wear it. I actually heard about this on the interwebs somewhere. Originally, there were going to be vending machines for buying the gear, and then they just never implemented them properly. And this is the only sign that they were ever going to do that. It's all rumors, of course, but... It's interesting. The false shepherd, this anarchist, is either a mulatto dwarf or a French man with a missing left eye. No more than four foot and nine inches. Um, well, you're not gonna find me with that description. I saw Booker's face. He was definitely not a mulatto dwarf and he definitely had both eyes. He doesn't sound French, so maybe it's good that they've got the misinformation. I bet I can get to Monument Island from that station. We're almost there. Or at least we're getting closer. Curly? He looked Irish to me. Yes, like that. Okay, what about his temper? Oh, he was certainly an anarchist. You can spot them anywhere, you know. Oh, I know. That's a close likeness. I think they're talking about Booker. Well, looks like we finally arrived at Monument Island. One step closer to our goal. It says off limits, but it's pretty open. We only had two guards here. Alright. One step closer to finding Elizabeth. Well, this place is a little ominous. Huh. Ah. So that may be why security was so lax outside. 
There's a whole bunch of soldiers waiting for me inside to ambush me. It looks like there's a couple things to look at, but for safety's sake, maybe I'll take these guys out first. Aha! Looks like my crows are having some fun. And so is my remote control turret. Alright, things are ooh, going well in my favor. Well, that went pretty well. All right, now that things are a bit safer, let's check some of this stuff out. Ride the gondola to Monument Island. Closed by order of the Prophet. Oh, I guess we're not getting that ride. Huh. Uncanny mystery in Colombia. Columbia marvels and fears at unfamiliar sights. That doesn't look kosher. What is it? Oh my, they're everywhere. What are these astonishments which appear and disappear? Columbia's greatest mind isn't saying. Ooh. How mysterious. But okay, seriously, what were those little weird magical rift thingies? Columbia has more secrets than I expected. Oh, I can't afford these. I can't afford these at all. Not even close. And I would try using this ability to get money from them, but I really don't get much. Like, let's see how much we get from this. Eh, a little bit. Less than ten. So I didn't really get all that much from doing that. And now I am very low on salts. But I don't want to spend the money to get more salts. I want to save up the money for vigors and vigor upgrades. Closed. Off limits. And yet the gate is torn asunder. That looks like it was rather violently opened. Oh. More vending machines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess we're moving on. Oh. We're getting closer. There's Monument Island. We're sorry to say that Monument Island is off limits. You've got to go. Workmen should proceed to the island by means of the skyline. The skylines, huh? Those things them coppers came riding in on back by the lottery. I see. Thank you for your assistance, mechanical ferryman. That line heads to Monument Island. Good shot. Alright, what's the worst that can happen? Whoa! Whoa! Oh. I mean, that's a bit much. Yes, we want to find Elizabeth and take her to New York, which isn't such a bad place. 
I don't know about all this ruin and whatnot. Oh my. Got a lot of beer back here for a maintenance room. And we'll go with, uh, we'll go with shields. Nice. Shields will wear down before health does, hopefully. Do things, right? Huh, things look backed up over there. They must have shut down most of the skylines. To try and prevent people from traveling about. So that'll go back the way I came, so... This is like one crazy and very unsafe roller coaster. Oh! Especially unsafe for those guys. And the Lord saw the wickedness of man was great. And he repented he had made man on the earth. Rain! Forty days and forty nights of the stuff. And he left not a thing that walked alive. You see, my friends, even God is entitled to a do-over. And what is Columbia if not another ark? For another time. Now, that's actually rather ominous. He's referring, of course, to the story of Noah and the great rain, 40 days and 40 nights from the Bible, where he, God basically cleansed the earth, killing off everything except for Noah and a bunch of animals. Good old Comstock there is applying that it's going to happen again, and that Columbia is the Ark of Salvation for the... Penitent, I suppose, would be the word for it. Which also implies death and destruction to the world below. And that's, that's not good for most everybody else in the world. There we go, we got that moving again. Which is the way forward. Oh, that's quite a slope. Whoa! We let them into our city and look how they thank us. Well then. I will kill you! That went well. The skyline up above. Somehow I get some elevation, I could probably reach it. So these guys really don't like anyone that talks against them. You had this gun. They sound a lot like what you would count for corrupt police officers. But I suppose they're not really corrupt, they're just incredibly loyal to their profit. Oh. Well, this house is not as nice as the houses I was at before. They were talking about the type of people that live here. I guess they're uh, less than favorable to the overall dynamic of things. There's no point going back.
Whoa! That was kinda close to that propeller blade. Oh god, they're shooting at me already. Stand down! Oh. Stand down! Whoa. With but two words, he stopped them shooting at me. the Delaware with flaming sword and the wings of angels. Watch over me and lend me strength. Father Washington, hear my prayer. Wow. He commands respect. I am I'm I assume this means he also wants to speak to Booker. Alright then. I know why you have come, false shepherd. I see every sin that lackens your soul. Wounded knee. The Pinkertons. The drink. Gambler. And of course, Anna. Whoa. And now, to repay a debt, you come from my land. But not all debts can be repaid, Booker. You don't know me, pal. Prophecy is my business, Mr. DeWitt. As blood is yours. You know why these men will die for me? Because I have seen their future in the glory. the glory. And hence they are content. <laughs> what brought you to Columbia, Booker? Booker? Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt? This will end in blood, Wit. Then again, yeah. it always does with you, doesn't it? It always ends in blood, Wit. <laughs> oh! Whoa. Jesus. All right. Head to the roof. Take that skyline to Monument Island. So Comstock knew an awful lo hell of a lot about DeWitt here. An awful hell of a lot. That was creepy. Stuff about stuff that even I don't know about yet. Who's Anna? You've come to lead my lamb astray, but thy crook is bent, and thy path is twisted. twisted. Go back to the Sodom from which you came! I can't. We can't, Comstock. Oh, he's like following us along. We really can't, Comstock. We must go back. Oh! Holy shit. He's determined. to take this thing to Monument Island. Sounds like a good plan, Booker. Get our own personal Zeppelin. Get right where we need to go. Thanks for the ride, Comstock. We'll worry about... I guess, I guess he really is uh, a better prophet than I gave him credit for if he knew all that stuff about Booker. Me? Word of the prophet. Don't mind me, ma'am. I'm just gonna hijack this. Okay, I'm sure I can get this thing going. The Lord forgives everything. And I'm just a prophet. So I don't have to. Amen. Amen. Oh, his voice is creepy. What are you? What are you? Jesus! Oh! Oh, well that's not good. Everything's on fire. Everything's on fire. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, jeez. That was close. Damn. Wow. Comstock wants Booker dead. And the people of this city are willing to sacrifice themselves to do whatever their prophet calls them to do. Including setting themselves on fire and taking out that very impressive zeppelin. Sheesh. But we've made it. Monument Island at last. One step closer to Elizabeth. I'm still creeped out about how the Prophet knew all that stuff about Booker. About Wounded Knee. I don't know who the Pinkertons were. I don't know who Anna is, but she must be somebody important. I had assumed from that weird flashback that Booker was involved in the military in some sense, so he may have been at the Battle of Wounded Knee. There's still a lot of unanswered questions, which shouldn't be surprising considering this is a Bioshock game. They like to leave lots of questions until at least halfway through the game. But maybe some of those questions will be answered next time on Game Break. I'm afraid we're all out of time for this episode. I want to thank you all for joining me today. If you found any inspiration from this video, Please feel free to give it a like and share it with your friends so that perhaps they too can be inspired. And also, please feel free to continue the conversation in the comments section below. Just do try to keep it spoiler free. And to stay up to date on more great videos from us at Inspire the Muse, make sure to subscribe to this channel. And until next time, get out there, find some inspiration, and be creative.